In the 1963 case, Brady v. Maryland, the United States Supreme Court held that the prosecution's failure to turn over exculpatory evidence that could exonerate an accused at trial violates the Due Process Clause of the Fifth Amendment. Notably, the primary principle supporting Brady is the avoidance of an unfair trial to a criminal defendant. In the 2002 case, United States v. Ruiz, the court considered whether prosecutors also had to disclose impeachment evidence before entering into a binding plea agreement with a criminal defendant. Federal prosecutors offered Angela Ruiz what was known as a fast-track plea bargain deal after immigration agents found 30 kilograms of marijuana in her luggage. Under such a deal, the accused waives indictment, trial, and an appeal, and in return, the government agrees to recommend a lower sentence. Additionally, the accused waives the right to receive any evidence from the prosecution's informants or witnesses that could be used for impeachment. Also, the government agrees to turn over any information regarding the criminal defendant's innocence. Ruiz refused to waive her right to receive impeachment evidence, and the government withdrew its plea bargain offer. Later, Ruiz was indicted on drug possession charges and pleaded guilty. At sentencing, Ruiz asked the judge to use the same lower sentencing guidelines that the prosecution would have recommended if she was given the plea bargain deal. The district court denied Ruiz's request, and she appealed to the United States Court of Appeals for the Ninth Circuit. The Ninth Circuit reversed, finding that the Fifth Amendment requires prosecutors to make certain impeachment evidence available to a criminal defendant before trial. Additionally, the court found that a criminal defendant cannot waive the right to certain impeachment evidence and remanded the case. The United States Supreme Court granted cert.